Hi everyone, I'm Toby Tungle with AB Nation Media here at Infocom 2023 from wonderful, humid Orlando, Florida. I am here with Justin from Jupiter. How are you today, sir? Good, how are you doing, Toby? Living the dream, ready for some more coffee. I feel uh, like it's it's the afternoon I'm rush. I'm with you on that. It's a little sticky too, even with uh, the AC on. Uh, yeah, I think it's that way in the afternoon, yeah, doesn't kinda. it? So we're in the booth. You guys have fantastic traffic. It's day two. Tell me the Jupiter story. Sure. So, and again, thank you for doing this. Appreciate Absolutely. the opportunity to have that conversation. So Jupiter's been around 43 years. We invented the video wall processor in 1981. Um, and over the course of the last 40 years, we've been you know, iterating on that, coming up with new products, new, new innovations. And really kind of our story is about innovation and driving that envelope a little farther every time. So on the processor side, you know, not only did we invent it, we were the first to do AV over IP. We were the first to do Windows-based processor where you could run your own applications on that. We've got a distributed node system that will scale to, we haven't found the limit of how far to scale um, in kind of these massive projects. And, you know, as we've been kind of continuing to grow the company over the last few years, it, it's, we, we were always looking for kind of the next way to innovate, the next way to drive. And for us, you know, the processor space is, you know, incredibly exciting and it's given us huge traction as well as, you know, great 24-7 sort of uh, mindset or, 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 you know, kind of inner company culture, if you will, right? Everything we build is, is built to last and built to run forever. So we thought about how we could take that kind of to the next step. And for us, the next step was, you know, taking our, our expertise in visual processing and actually building the devices that the images come up on. So we, we looked at how we could do that best and how we could continue to innovate. And what we came up with was, you know, our 21 by nine story. Which is beautiful, by the Thank way. Thank you. I think the video and pictures don't do it justice when you see it in person. Thank it's you. beautiful. Yeah, and we, you know, we believe, and, and I think you can see by all the people that are chasing us in, in introducing the product, it's a better way to visually consume the information. It matches the way human beings see the world, right? We see wider than we see tall. The only reason we were doing 16 by nine is because it was an evolution of four by three and that's how they can build CRTs. <laughs> I mean, CRTs. really, yeah. that, that's yeah. how we got to where we're at. It wasn't a conscious decision. It wasn't anything based on you know, science or, or anything. It was like, well, okay, let's go to here, right? So we looked at it and said, how do we make it better? And you know Hollywood's been doing it since the 1960s with 233 to one Panavision, right? So why not bring that to people's daily life? So we decided we could bring 21.9 to the masses, really. So manufacturing technology had caught up to the point where we could build these you know, eight foot long sheets of glass in a cost efficient manner and actually build the product. And the timing was perfect. We launched them right at the start of COVID. Um, and it's kind of given us this kind of evolution to get to this. You know, we launched our first generation in 2020. Our Gen 2 product's been in the market and, you know, in Fortune 500 customers for the last 16 months. And we're introducing our third generation of the product today. I mean, so it's really kind of building on our, our past expertise plus this kind of reputation as driving the envelope on the 21 by 9 aspect. I love it. I love it. And to your point, we do see wider than taller, we right? Do. It's sexier. It looks better. Let's yep. just be fair, right? Exactly. Gone are the days of the fourth season CRT. I haven't think of CRT in forever, but product behind us. Yep. This is fantastic. Yep. What's the name of this product again? So this is our Panda 105. Okay. So in, in, in this um, demonstration, it, this is Microsoft Teams front row. You know, demonstrating what an MTR call would look like using our product. Microsoft is standardized on Jupiter as this being the standard, right? When, when we were developing it, we were really looking at uh, looking at the 2919 for collaboration more than we were conferencing. Because of the ergonomics, because of, you know, it's a little shorter and wider, it doesn't matter if you're five feet tall or seven feet tall, you can get to the top and the bottom of it. You can't on an 86. You can't on a 98 that's 16 by 9. You just can't. And if you're not going to be able to utilize the technology in a somewhat elegant manner, meaning you don't have to jump up to hit a button, you're not going to use the tech. So anybody who would you know, possibly look like a fool in front of their peers by jumping up or squatting down to touch a button won't get out of their chair. And this really expensive touch monitor that you bought all of a sudden is just a monitor. <laughs> That's true, though. Right? I mean, there, there's a lot of people that are that are afraid to go up there and not be able to reach something or exactly. afraid, the, the engagement piece. It needs to be very welcoming, that, right. that experience, right? Right. So shifting gears to the other side sure. of the wall, which we've got some good B-roll okay. of. 
That's a new product over there, so correct? That's our generation three product. It is beautiful as Thank well. You. Thank you. So what we did there is, it's again, it's kind of this continual evolution. Um, our Gen 3 product is your high-end home theater TV in the office, right? It's I can got, have that in my home office? I have one <laughs> I have one in my home. Oh, uh, nice. But it, it, it's bringing that kind of experience that we see at home, right? I mean, 10,000 bucks for a TV at home is not out of the ordinary for a lot of people these days. To get that, you get those real blacks, to get, you know, the vibrant colors spend more time at work than you do at home. And we're all trying to figure out how to entice people to come back to the office, right? Like COVID's over-ish, right? And, and everybody's trying to figure out how to pull people back into the office. There's a handful of companies that can mandate it and make their employees do it, but the rest of the world, they gotta convince their people that to come back. And giving them a better experience and better tools is a way to do that. Yeah, so, you're not wrong. And, and we actually talked about this um, this morning on the Vixa panel, mm -hmm. how the technology can help attract your employees back to the office. Because it's not free pizza and free coffee as much as I like a good yeah. coffee, but actually having tools that make it feel really comfortable, it gives them a reason to be there, a collaboration piece of it, so that they're home and they can feel like they're part of the team yeah. and they're in the office. They've got all these wide variety of technology pieces that exactly. make it easier to do their job. And it makes them more successful. It makes them more marketable on the next job, right? It adds to their personal value as well as what they're contributing to the company. Absolutely. So enticing them to come back and giving them these kind of cool toys, right? But it's productive tools that allow them to be better. It, to our opinion, is, is kind of how we're going to entice people off their couch and to come back into the office and get to that, you know, get to those states where, you know, when we're collaborating face to face, one plus one is three. It <laughs> right, really yeah. is, right? At home, one plus one is about one and a half. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. When we're, when we're remote, when I can't pop up and say, hey, what do you think about this, right? And get an answer and iterate on that. I gotta send you an email and then wait for you to respond. It doesn't work, yeah, right? Absolutely. So having that space to do that for us, is you know helpful to our our end user customers helpful to our channel partners and helpful to people that are actually going to use the tech i love it plus i, I get to sell more yeah i mean that, that that's a big part of at that. the end of the day so certainly not the last piece here but your control side right correct uh that's over here there's a lot of people over here we yep. can't get over there just yet but we will why is that important for your product line so it's it, a it's jupiter's heritage right but it's also kind of our culture it's you know we build mission critical systems that go into nuclear power plants, that go into launch control systems for space exploration, that you know control countries, literally, on their traffic management stuff. So if it goes down, bad things happen. Um, so we've built this 24-7, 365 over the last 43 years. It's how our support organization works. It's how our culture from the sales side works. It's how you know our development teams work. It's in our plot. Um, and we've taken that expertise, dropped it into our other product line, as well as continue to iterate and grow our, our processor line. So, I mean, on our processor side, we're driving you know, all sorts of really cool applications, some of which I can talk about, some of which I can't talk about, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. right? And we're playing a lot in the space that I can't talk about uh, because if you need to do something outside of maybe putting four windows up on a wall and never seeing it and, and really need to push the boundaries of that, we're the only play in the market. We're, we're the ones who can deliver a complete solution, hardware, software, training, professional services, the whole shoot match to our channel partners and deliver it to the end user customer. Awesome, I really love it. I appreciate your time today, sir. One other point, yeah. there. we did hit LED. Oh, we do need LED. We do need LED because, you know, in our quest on 21.9, right? Because that, that's our, you know, where we think the market's gonna go. We can only build the glass about this big, right? So we can only get to 105. There's calls and there's reasons that people want to go bigger um, in that aspect ratio. At this point, they're limited to projection or, in our opinion, subpar LED. So we came out with our own LED product. Um, it's called the Zavitz XP. It comes at a 0.7, a 0.9, and 1.2. It is flip chip, micro COB, driven by megapixel VR. Um, and from the feedback I've gotten, and the completely unbiased opinion that I have, I'll put it up against anybody. Uh, people have been telling me it's the best looking LED on the floor here, better than all the big names, and I'm happy to do a shootout with anybody to prove it. 
So, I love I that. Mean, it's, and Call again, it about. Hey, hey, we, I, we're, we got we got the edge right now. Right? Somebody's going to invent the next not better mousetrap, and I got to keep going. That's why I'm working on my Gen 4 pandas right now for next year. So, I mean, really, it's it's continuing to iterate on that. But I think for our for our LED product, as it sits today, you can't buy a better product than the product. I'm glad you brought that up. That is a fan. It's a beautiful product. Thank you. If you got a chance to stop by at the booth and see it, it should yep. be definitely something to see. Well, thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. You guys have a fantastic rest of your show. I think it's going to be great. There's a lot of people behind us. I'm Toby Tunkel with AV Nation. If you want to hear more of what we're doing on the show floor, go to avnation.tv.